Hey, it's Mike, and I want to talk about the scary price action in the market yesterday. The market, uh, the S&P 500, gapped down. Then it just really took a dive, continued moving downward, and then it had a little bit of a recovery, but I don't know if this really gives me a lot of hope for the next couple of days. We are up a little bit in pre-market. However, the big problem, the big acceleration was down here is that the 50-day moving average uh, at least on the SPY was 340 and when you fall below the 50 day moving average it's kind of a lookout below sort of situation so I do anticipate we may have more selling today in the S&P 500 um, you know the NASDAQ held up a little bit better the um, QQQ 50 day uh, moving average is sitting at uh, let's see here is sitting at 281 so the triple Q and the SPY are both below the 50-day moving average that means there might be a, still be a little more pain but here's the thing you have to realize is that when you have these big um, if we have a correction if we have a 5% correction the recovery will be really really fast so this may be an entire situation where we get damage on Monday, you know, we had damage Monday, we get some more damage Tuesday, we may get some capitulation selling Wednesday, and then possibly a recovery on Wednesday, and then a follow through Thursday and Friday. That's the kind of pattern I've seen before in markets like this, where you get a big sell off gets a lot of people scared, and then you get more selling, which gets people really, really scared. And then on Wednesday, you get that capitulation selling, like usually around 1030, on the third day, people are like, I give up, I'm selling everything. And it's literally when people sell at the bottom, the market spikes back up. And I've seen this pattern before, and I think that's what's going to happen. So unfortunately, I think today is going to be another uh, painful day in the markets. If you own penny stocks or your high-flying stocks, it's probably going to be another day of pain. I personally, I'm not going to sell anything because, like I said, it's usually when, when you get emotionally tied to the stock market, it seems to time you perfectly. It times you when you're mo the most scared, you sell, and then the market bounces back up. So you just got to work through the pain. It's like, unless you need the money to pay your rent or your mortgage or something, I would just sit through this. It stinks. But you know what? This only happens a couple of times a year on average. You know, you get these corrections. I, I It feels like we get them like every quarter. We get that that one week that's just really, really rough. I think, you know, we've had more because it's 2020, but um, I've always found that it's it's better to sit through these because the biggest down days are usually followed by the biggest up days. So I would just recommend you sit tight. Hopefully you don't panic sell or do anything too rash that would cause uh, too much damage to your portfolio. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. I do multiple updates on stocks, the stock market, options, and option strategies. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.